I know a lot of people watch the recording, which is awesome. And I'm going to say welcome. Jen's shaking up something, repair or something. Uh, no, Ionix and peach mango cleanse. Nice. Okay. Yep. Oh, the peach. The peach is so good. Um, so good. Awesome. Good, good. Okay. Well, I'm excited for you guys. I know, I know more. We'll keep hopping on. I'm going to start briefly with recognition because we have a couple of fun rec pieces of recognition. One is an, our newest consultant, Thomasina Connors, hit consultant this week. So I'm super pumped for her. Yay. Congrats, Thomasina. I talked to her last week. I don't see her on yet, but if she comes on, we'll, we'll shout her out quick. Um, Oh, there's AJ. Yeah, I just said Thomasina hit consultant. So that's very exciting. Yay. And then, uh, and then we also had a beautiful couple hit their five cycle bonus. And that would be Danny Schaefer, Danny and Corey. So I'm so pumped, you guys. That's so awesome. I know. And you guys, like, just to know how, it, you know, many times it was eluding her that four cycles here, four cycles there. When is it going to happen? You know, and that's normal. That's so normal. So I'm so proud of you guys. It happened so naturally. She showed me on Saturday night. She's like, look, they were a little tiny bit away from, um, Spanish or sorry. I just got a text from my, it says Spanish shows up on my thing. Um, they were so, they, they were so close on Saturday night. She was only like 60 BB away or something. And she's like, we're going to hit it tomorrow. And it does, you guys, it happens. And it's all normal. And even like Justin Courtney on stage talked about, you know, you might have six and one and two and three and you know, all of that. So it occurred with ease when it happens. And we're so proud of you guys and the team and everything you're building. So yay. Congratulations to that. Okay, you guys, and tonight, you know, it's so, David said, like, you can replicate this stuff, and yes, we can replicate the tools, the templates, the process. I do think we do a lot of that on these calls, but to replicate, like, the experience with David Wood, I mean, it's just, it's almost impossible, right? Like, he is just this. I'm not trying to put him on a pedestal. I, you know, like, it's just a thing, but what I'm excited to do is really take and almost use tonight for, you know, it said even he put on the screen, you know, review seven days a week and you're going to retention goes up so much. And we need to be able to say, what well, how are we putting this stuff into practice? Also, UIA is this next weekend in Phoenix. So he's literally going to Phoenix. He's probably, he probably already booked out a, he probably already jetted out of Minneapolis. He's probably on his way. Um, so, and I know Bettina is on and she lives in Phoenix. She told me she's going this coming weekend. Um, so if you have anyone else in the Phoenix or five state area or who wants the business or they missed out this weekend, don't feel like, oh, they can't go. Like, tell them, invite them. Be like, I just had the most epic weekend. Fly to Phoenix. There's flights all the time to Phoenix or drives or whatever. So don't, you know, just think through, like, is there someone out there that I want to get in that room? Because there are still a few tickets. And, you know, I wrote down what I really think the weekend was is a compression of the business into 25 hours. Every aspect. I mean, it's like, the tw I mean, literally 25 hours. He says two and a half days, but it's 25 hours of training. I mean, it, when you add it up and he even started early on Sunday morning, it's like the how-tos, what it takes, the mindset all the way. And I'm not going to steal these wonderful people's thunder, but all of it, just be thinking through like, gosh, everything through the weekend, it's teaching how to do it from every aspect all the way down to you know, how to be the best version of yourself and to take off your masks and to be more authentic and to, you know, do use the templates and then, you know, to really go out into the world with gratitude and excitement and passion and bravery and to use the Ashley effect and feel the fear and do it anyways and all of those things. So um, just be thinking through that. And so I um, asked three awesome, awesome leaders that were there soaking it up all weekend to share and they don't even know who I'm trying to think who I'm going to, I'm just going to call on people to share one or two breakthroughs per person. And they're going to do awesome. And for some of them, it's the first time they're talking on this call. And that's cool. That's a part of it, right? They're going to do awesome. And we're just, I said, we're, we all know this team. It's a safe space. It's a great place to practice and learn. And so I'm going to start, Jason, do you want to, do you want to kick it off? Do you want to kick us off with uh So Jason Lubes attended and I don't think he would call himself a supportive spouse. I think he would consider himself one of the builders, right? Not, and I mean, a supportive spouse, yes, but not 
simply supporting also in action. So Jason, I'm excited to hear just a couple of points from you to kick us off. All right, well, thanks so much. And uh, hello to everybody. Again, uh, Jason Lubes, or, or maybe better known as, oh, you're Ashley's wife or a husband. <laughs> so I, I love that and I was proud to say, yes, I am. So uh, I wanted to thank her as well because uh, she allowed me to go to this event. And for us, like many others, we have to make choices. And I usually take the back seat because I have been the more on the supportive role and allowing her to go to many of the events. So I was really thrilled. This was my first main event I had uh, besides a super Saturday. I think um, maybe my first takeaway was if you ever really just need a hug, go to one of these events because I think I had 50 hugs in two days, which is not something that I normally get it was a lot of hugs and I think four back massages. So that was great in itself. Um, but all kidding aside, um, I think for me, there was just this reaffirmation of a lot of the things that I hear all the time. And, and you put yourself in the, in the moment with a lot of other people that are positive and have gone through similar experiences. And there's, there's, there's a lot of power in that. But bringing it back down to some of the simple things, like when David started right away, like find people talk to people, repeat. I mean, it's, it's as simple as that. And that thread was reiterated several times, you know, even into the last day on Sunday, yesterday, when we talked about gratitude, you know, and, and being, being present and, be, and not overusing no's in our own daily practice and talking to everybody that we can and, and, and doing that with a smile. I tell you what, I took the challenge and, and he talked about a 30 day challenge. And I did that today at my, my office work. And I did that at the gym. And I think I freaked quite a few people out, actually. Um, so, uh, you know, I got a few, like, eye rolls. But it's, it's pretty interesting when you really just kind of sit and think about it or even observe it. Because these are the people we walk by every single day. We kind of take them for granted over time at work, at, at least. The gym is a very different place. I think... Um, I think it's, uh, you know, one where a lot of people go in and just kind of do their own thing. Um, so that was kind of, kind of bizarre, but I did so take that practice. Smi you were just smiling at everyone you're saying? Smiling, talking, saying hello purposefully to absolutely everybody today. Yeah. Um, and, um, so that's a practice. And we talked, we talked about that, you know, like 30 days. Okay, we're going to take that 30 day challenge, connect you know, in this indirect kind of connect and so forth. So that was really great. I really took to heart the 1% rule and just really challenged myself, like whether it's building this business, supporting my, my wife, being a better husband or a dad, like, can you do something 1% better today than you did yesterday? And so that, um, that's one that, again, that I'm accepting. You no know, more from the business side of things, you know, we talk about building residual income. And that's a word. And, and there was a little bit of time and some, some discussion about really what, what residual income was in comparison to working income, where we trade our, our, our time for money. And I think, you know, even myself, maybe others had, have a different um, or maybe misconception what residual income is versus passive income. And so I really appreciated that, you know, in those that, that weren't there or maybe want to refresh here. I mean, the residual income is you just don't walk away from it. Right. And so a lot of people do that. They start getting, they getting people in their downline and, and they're not constantly continuing to pour into them and supporting them in some way. And, and that, that can kind of just go away. So residual is not just do it once and, and get paid forever. That's more that passive income. And, and then I really appreciated just the watch out of spending too much of that residual income. This, this idea or notion of building a fortress, you know, reward yourself and have that balance, but certainly want to be able to have that money um, so that you can build the fortress and have that passive income. The 30 second stories, like that was just great because honestly, if we're not practicing, um, how do you get in a moment, right? And have them and not get stuck onto that one story. I hope I'm not like verbal vomiting now because I tend to. 
So no, good. you're good. Did you did you use your story on anyone today and or or over the weekend during the call section or any of that? You know, I did actually of my boss of all people. How'd it go? Uh, I think it went really well. And I, I think I did it in about a minute. So that's good. Perfect. Did you say did you say like I want to practice this on you or did you just like slip it in? No, I called him out last week about uh, having a muscle milk, and he said he was going to have, have his, that was his lunch. He was going to have a protein shake. So I just introduced the notion last week of saying, hey, not even bringing in isogenics, really just talking to him about the difference between a meal replacement shake and a, and, and a protein shake. And of course, I wanted to tell him that, that stuff was junk and, and everything else, but I didn't. But today I gave him a sample, and I just kind of told him uh, a 30 second story one minute what? story yeah yeah so his wife is, is is interested in it so ashley and i are preparing you know a few links for them and um hopefully we'll have a great follow-up with them later on this week or tomorrow even yeah the 30 second story is so powerful and it's so you know it doesn't t i mean you you create you uh when we are able to perfect that and refine that like it's so usable all the time so yeah. I think often we underestimate it. Yeah, maybe the last thing I would just say, you know, is um, on this whole spousal support, because I have really been supporting Ashley and I, I love that, right? And, and so forth. But there was some really kind of tough love discussion. I really appreciate it. I think, you know, the panel that was up there and then when Courtney or, or Justin Courtney talked about it as well, like, you know, are we really being serious about it? Is this Is this really a business? Are you really... If there's a primary, primary, are you having intentional conversation every single day about it with your spouse? Mm -hmm. Because again, I think kind of being on that side, if we're not, you know, they're often left wondering and assumptions like, you know, is this really like what really happens? So, you know, if you're not, or maybe you are great, but I would just encourage that that's a great practice to do too. Um, because I think, you know, the guys or the spouses probably care and want to know more than what than what people kind of share or maybe assume that they do. So yeah. I really appreciated that. That is so good, Jason. That is so powerful. And it's true. I mean, sometimes we say, oh, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. But it's just this vague, ambiguous thing. And so then we just get like, we're just brush it off or we're tired of sitting here, you know, and there's no like positive coming back from it or they, we don't see, we're not communicating about it every day. So yeah, I think that's good. So I could go on and on. Obviously, there was a lot of stuff. I filled a pretty much a notebook, and I've just been referring to it and highlighting it. And you know, the last one that I, I guess I'll say the last last one is this notion of immediate forgiveness, right? Like we didn't have a bad day, we didn't have a bad week. We created a story and decided to choose to take that and make it that long. So you know. David really talked about that. Like, how do you just let it go? Like, change that story. So, yeah. I, yeah. So that, that, was, is that is so beautiful. And it bleeds into every aspect of your life. That is amazing, Jason. Like, that is powerful. So, yeah. thank you for sharing that. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciated it. Yeah, I'm so I've glad. So many people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at, and now you guys just picture people on your team having those great, I like, it's, it's such a cool thing. It's just the coolest thing ever. And this, um, business is so much more than a shake, right? So much more. So thank you, Jason. That was awesome. Yeah. Okay. I know Ashley's listening. I'm sure that was fun for you to hear. Ashley. Um, okay. So yes, let's go to Ari. Ariana, do you want to share? I know Ari, this is your first UIA as well. And yeah. we're excited to hear from you. Okay, you guys, I've been to like all of the events. I've been to NYKO and celebrations and Super Saturdays, and this one like blew me away. <laughs> I learned so much from it and just like had so much personal growth. Like to the point, I mean, Allison asked me yesterday if I would do this, and I was like, Normally, I would just be like, no way. <laughs> I don't public speak. I don't love to do these kind of things at all. And I was like, yeah. I'll totally do it. So like just tons of breakthroughs. Um, one of the quotes that David had said at um, this event was who I am is who I will attract. 
And I've thought about that one a ton over the last like couple days and like not only just who you want in your business, but who you want in your life and being that person that you want other people to be. So um, just being more brave and being more confident and, you know, taking that first step and connecting with people because somebody has to take that first step. So why not just be the one that does it first? Um, and then like Jason was saying, um, his whole piece on forgiveness, like he told this story um, about an accident that he got into. He was in his car with his sons and he got rear-ended by a cement truck and he made sure everyone was okay. But then the first thing he did was he got out of the car, went to the driver, asked him if he was okay. And the guy was like totally shaking and freaking out and being like, no, are you okay? And he's like, no, are you okay? And then gave the guy a hug. <laughs> like, wasn't mad about it. Like accidents happen and just immediately forgave him and made him feel better. And to be able to do that to people is such a powerful thing. And like if everyone just treats people the way that they want to be treated and is just a better person, like think of what an impact we could have. Um, and then another piece that he talked about was just getting out and trying new things so that you have more in common with other people. So he <laughs> shared another story about how he was learned how to knit so he could make a gift for his girlfriend. Um, and that just gave him, he ran into a woman at the airport and she was knitting. So it was instantly a way he could like strike, a, strike up a conversation with her and just finding more ways to get out and do no, more things so that you have more things in common with people. Um, and it, we did a lot of connecting with people. Like he would have us change up and meet new people constantly throughout the day. And it was so easy to find things that you had in common with them. You just asked like one, maybe two questions and you'd find these instant connections. And we were like instantly best friends with everyone. It was really crazy. Um, so just asking good questions and practicing that more. Yeah. So, no, that's so good and so true. And it is, I mean, he says, he's like, it's not just the people in, in this room. He's like, I practice this in life and all over the world, you yeah. know, people are waiting for you to go first. And yeah, Ari, I mean, for her, well, yeah, I did. I asked her yesterday. I was like, do you want to do this tomorrow? She's like, yep, I do. Yep. She's like, yes. And both just say yes. And I know that it initially seemed out of your comfort zone, but that's, it. that's the, it's, it's growth. You guys, it's all growth and it's all, we all get, can get better and we all start somewhere. And we, I mean, I am, yeah, I'm so proud of you. I really am. And people are putting that in the chat too. So I'm already thinking about like the next UIA and like how I can get more people. I'm like, let's go to Charlotte. Yes. <laughs> yes. And there was already some chat. It's so true. And that, this was my six UIA. I, you guys, I was not like birthed this way. And Ari of all people can tell you this. Ari and I go back to age six. Ari was, we were friends. I was shy. She will tell you. You can ask her all about elementary school, oh, Allison. What? <laughs> we were both shy. We were. You are who you attract. We were both shy. Like, and it's, I promise you guys, if I can, you know, it's not a coincidence that I've been to six of these and can get on a panel now. I couldn't do that at the beginning, you know? And I mean, growth. It's like, I just see so and like literally when I speak words of life to any of you on here I mean it you know asking you are you to do this I'm like yes come on the call tell us tell us what you learned like it just I hope it lands so much so that's good and yes Charlotte other people are looking so Holly said she's looking I know AJ put it in everyday rock stars today there are multiple people looking at Charlotte so I agree if you can get a group full of people imagine the power imagine the power of having a group going what is it? I think it's October 2nd to 4th if someone knows throw it in the chat but is that right yeah that's awesome. right okay look at the dates and think about who can I bring with you because it's true the first time of any event we attended on our own and then it's like okay who can we bring so thank you Ari that's awesome Jen look at that all these people you guys I'm so thrilled okay um great points and then we're gonna go to Danny Schaefer to bring it home for us Danny this was Danny's second UIA and what I love about Danny, it, I mean, she hit the five cycle bonus during, 
she brought a van, two cars full of people, two full cars, nine of them drove here from Rapid City. Um, a ton of new people for their first one, breakthroughs galore on her team. That's exactly what you guys that are talking about Charlotte can do. <laughs> Either, I don't know how, I don't know how long the drive is, but drive or fly or whatever, bring a whole bunch of people. And um, yeah, and Danny and I chatted Saturday night and I know it was so different for you to attend your first time. And now where you're at in your business, that progression, something different lands every time. So Danny, if you're up, go take it away. Oh, thank you guys. You are all super, super sweet. So yeah, so I, so kind of, um, UIA is my favorite event and I don't, and probably because when I started three years ago, UIA was my first event. It's, I went to Chicago in October and that was the first event I ever went to. And I truly attribute part of the reason I'm here and why I did what I did is because of that event, because I saw that first, you know what I mean? And so and the first time I went, like, it was, like, you're kind of saying, it's kind of like a blur and you remember. And so hearing it again, um, some different things landed. So, um, you know, everything they said previously is so true and it's so powerful. Um, the couple of things I want to talk about is, so at the leadership part, a couple of us, I was really fortunate to go to the leadership and I needed to hear something. And it was like, I felt like David was talking to me. And so those of you that know me, like, I'm a strong red. Um, and so if you are red on this call, you're going to laugh, um, because in leaders you'll laugh because you'll know, like, that's a red talking, but he showed a graph and the graph was like how you start here and then you plateau and then you dip and then you go and then you plateau and then you go and then you plateau and you dip. Um, and he just basically said like, that is normal. Like, and he basically was like, repeat after me, dips are normal dips are normal, you know? And I think as a leader, you like, and as a red, I get caught up in that. And like he said, he said, if you see a graph like this, 100% of the time, it's illegal. <laughs> like you guys can hear David saying that, like that's his humor, right? But he's like, if you see this graph, it's illegal. Like normal businesses do this, where they plateau and they dip, or then they go. And and I think that was just really powerful to me because I sometimes want this all the time and I need to celebrate this and this, you know what I mean? When you dip down. And so, and the other thing he said that like being completely transparent is he said, when you plateau, a lot of time it's because leaders go into management mode. And when you manage, you will go into a plateau and managing like that's my comfort zone. I love my team. I love to cheer my team on. And when I totally manage, I plateau. And so it was a little bit of a gut check for me as well to realize like, yes, it's normal, but am I still in management mode? And so I think that was just something that was super powerful. And I think if you are frustrated in your business, like remember that, like this is normal, you know what I mean? And so, and the other thing, um, that, I mean, again, like I'm being completely transparent with you guys. When I, like, I believe in network marketing and I'm not going anywhere, but I don't trust network marketing. And I think David made me realize that this weekend. Like I work in medicine. I'm an A plus B equals C person, right? Like things have to make sense in my brain and I don't trust it. And like when he was going around the room and he was, does these exercises where he's like, teachers, raise your hand. How much did you make this year? And it's like 40,000, 50,000. And how long have you been a teacher? And then it was like, paralegals, raise your hand. And one girl said she'd been in it 10 years making 60,000. And then he looked around and he's like, so why do you think all of you should be making a million in three years? And, and I like, and that was kind of like, oh. Are you talking, you know, and it was kind of that moment where it's like, why are you expecting that when like, how many conversations have you been having? How many events have you been to, you know, things like that. And I, and I really, it was kind of like at that moment where I was like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't trust it. Like, I'm just like thinking that. And so, you know, when he goes around the room and, you know, like, and like you say, exactly, like we are the, like Barbie said, we're the only profession where you can come in and like, just go, 
and it's amazing. And that's why network marketing is like the highest paid profession there is, but you still have to trust it and respect it. And, and I think when you're like, as you're growing, as you're a leader, when some of your team falls off or, you know, all that kind of stuff, like you need to trust the process. And, you know, that's a lot of what, um, Hillary's husband would talked about too, like trust that. And I think like, I needed to hear that because I'm at a point where like, I need to trust it. And so those were like probably my two biggest takeaways. Um, you know, everything else they said, the only other thing, there was one other thing that I said, um, I was going to talk about, um, oh, that was the other thing was, you know, and like, you know, watching. So my best, my other tip is when your team goes to these events, like I actually, I got to experience that this time and that was huge. And I, uh, and I will tell you, like, it is worth everything that you can to get your team there because I watched so much of my team grow and like literally, so I rode in the car with Aaron and Levi and you guys, we have an eight hour drive home. Okay. Aaron didn't stop talking for five hours. And those of you that know Aaron, like she was, and I, and if Aaron's on this call, like I love her to death and it was amazing. But I mean, like that just goes to show you like Aaron is not a public speaker, kind of like Ari said, and like, she's not, a, she's not like that totally freaks her out. Like she's the psycho in the room. Like if, if you know what I'm talking about when I say psycho, like that's what David Wood calls it when you get that response, when you're so nervous. And like Aaron even was like, I'm going to be on stage one day. And so for Aaron to say that, to go from psycho to stage, like that tells you the power of this event. And I think like, exactly. Like, and those that you know that, like you totally know that. And so I just think the power of that is, and it's easy to forget, you know, like we, we do so much and there's so much going on. And so I think remembering that is is just so powerful. And I mean, I, I, I watched, you know, April and Alex and Kristen and, you know, all those guys, you know, and the new event people, you know, it's just, it is truly powerful. And I know we say a lot on these, you know, but remembering that and just trusting that I think is, is a huge thing. So no, I loved it. Those were probably my three, my three biggest ones though. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was so good, Danny. Thank you. Seriously. All three of them said such different things. But I mean, think about it. I could ask three more of you to go and we would come up with more things that, you know, because there's so much, it's so rich. And yes, Danny, what you said, the power of not just you experiencing it, that's duplication. The power of nine people in the room having breakthroughs, of people on your team saying they want to be on stage. I mean, that is, that's, it's literally one of the top, if, two or three secret sauces. There's no secrets in this business, but it really is, you know, to have your team experience that stuff. So I'm thrilled for you. That's amazing. I'm so glad Erin was so talkative. She's awesome. Um, this, that's, and that's why also we have these calls on Monday nights. So not that we can recreate David Wood every Monday night, but we are constantly being intentional about ways to plug in, plug in, plug in, because it's easy. And you guys, things are going to happen. And like he says, I don't trust you because life is going to happen. You're going to go encounter bad situations and, you know, road rage, and you're going to encounter the psycho coming back and you're going to encounter busyness and you're going to encounter things. And the further we get away from the event, we forget, you know, and the clarity, it gets muddy and mucky and we experience the nose and Courtney Mott and I talked today, you know, she was like the no experience was everything for her, you know, to be able to celebrate the nose and dance them off. Then she got me on a three-way call with a brand new person today. Like it was beautiful. So I want you guys like for sure, promise yourself that you're plugged in, stay plugged in every week. Promise yourself that you'll bring people to the events because that's it. Promise yourself that you'll keep that 10 year mindset one year mind, one year from now, you know, what is it that you need and tell me or tell your mentor or whoever what you need to stay plugged in. Do you need them to call you when you're disappearing? Do you need them to give you tough love? Do you need them to just love on you? Do you need them? Do you need to be able to cry with them? Whatever it is, that's okay. We, we can provide, you know, that's a part of the journey. So I'm so glad like that just is awesome. Um, two quick things. Justin Courtney has the man up business mastermind. I know, um, it was posted today in 
everyday rock stars, but look, just search that on Facebook. If you are a guy or have any guys on your team, it's open to all of Isogenics. They even do contests and they give away event tickets and stuff. Even if you're not financially tied to him, like that's just the power of what they're providing. Jake is, you know, joining it today. I know some up, Jason, I think I saw you already did. That's awesome. And then just be thinking about next weekend, Phoenix, who can you invite? Um, ISA Academy, the first weekend in May, Denver and Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The last weekend in May in Minneapolis. If you didn't catch it at the end, we're having Dr. Plant come to do Super Saturday. Tyler Dickerhoof is coming. Um, I will be hosting, but my goal is not to be on stage. You know, potentially Emily and Hayden, you know, we're talking to a bunch of people to see what, what we can really just create this amazing event specifically around Dr. Plant, right? I mean, he mixes the product talk with just like this sexy vision business talk and just does it in a beautiful way. So get any and everyone that you can. May 30th, it's going to be in the Twin Cities, probably Bloomington. And then celebration, Salt Lake City, mid-July. Who's got their tickets? Yes, July 15th to 18th. Absolutely. Who can you get there? These things are going to light. If they light you up, whatever it is, getting the people there and then Charlotte this fall, I would also pencil that in. And, you know, if say like, you know, I love it. I love a whole bunch of you are planning to go. So you guys, it's going to be a good year ahead of us. And that's really what I have. I want to thank the speakers. You guys did amazing. I love hearing takeaways and what landed and, you know, we're going to keep this stuff alive. Like I want to go over the stories and I want some people, I thought if I had extra time, I'd just have some people share their 30 second story. So plan on that to come soon, but you know, the templates and the tools and it all just fits in. So anyone have questions or comments? I'll just give it a quick second. We're good. Okay. Get all the hobbies on man up. Jason said, yes, a hundred percent. Get those hobbies on man up at whatever degree they want. And I hope you guys have an amazing night. We'll see you soon.